IR drop workflow is used to identify potential voltage drops in the interconnects that makes power delivery network. In this video, I will discuss how to perform IR drop analysis using Signity Aurora 17.4 and see the simulation results. So let's get started. In the first step, we'll open board file in Signity Aurora 17.4. But in your case, you have to download the design file from the description. Then go to the file, open, just locate where you have placed the file and click on open. Once the file is open, you can zoom fit the board file by clicking over this button. After opening the board file, we have to select IR drop workflow. If in your case, workflow manager is not open, you can go to the analyze and select workflow manager. Once the workflow manager is open, you have to select IR drop workflow from drop down menu. Now we are good to start setting up the IR drop workflow. We will start with setting up simulation options. To do that, we have to click over setup analysis option and IDA IR drop analysis parameter form will open. Now in the first tab, which is topology extraction, we have to select all the designators for resistors, inductors, capacitors and sinks or load. In our case, one designator is missing that is XU asterisk, which we are using for DIM module connector. Then we'll click over apply. Now we can move to another tab, which is for default properties. So as you can see, the default sync properties for all the loads as of now are set for one amps and plus minus 5% tolerance. If you want, in your case, you can edit these properties and replace the current rating and tolerances. All right. Now in this window, we have to change one more thing and that is use ideal ground. So we are not going to use any ideal ground. We're going to use all the layout or copper planes that we are using in stack up. All right. So just uncheck use ideal ground, click over apply and okay. Now we are good to set up all the DC nets. So for that, we have to click over identify DC net, which we'll get from logic tab. So we'll go to logic tab. And from here, click over identify DC nets. Here we are going to do all the analysis for 1.8 volt rails. So we'll use this filter to select 1.8 volt and assign the voltage. So as of now, you can see there is no voltage assigned. We'll assign it to 1.8. And as you can see, the voltage is assigned. Now, similarly, we are going to assign ground. So we'll just select it enter zero and click on apply and okay. So we have assigned the DC net. In the next step, we are going to set up voltage regulator modules or VRMs. But before that, make sure we have selected the ground nets using this tab. To set up VRMs, we have to click over set up VRMs tab from workflow manager. And from here, we have to select 1.8 volt and VRM chip, which is U42 in our case. We have to just select as a VRM, click over apply and OK. So till here we have selected the VRMs. Now we have to select all the loads. So in our case, we have two loads, mainly U7 and XU2. Make sure you have selected those. And here you can verify the current and tolerance. Click over OK. Now we are good to go to start the analysis. To start the analysis, you have to click over start analysis tab. Once the analysis is done, which you can verify by this green tick next to a start analysis tab, we can see the simulation results. To see the simulation results, we have to click over view IR drop table. And here we can see we have voltage and current ratings for both loads. So for U7, you can see the nominal voltage is 1.8 volt, actual voltage is 1.78 which is under tolerance. If it is not in your case, then it will show fail here. And similarly for the current ratings. Now from the detail table, you can verify each and every pad on this voltage rail, which is ground and 1.8 volt. We have to just double click here and it will direct us to that particular pad. And from here, we can verify the current density, IR drop, etc. To select the current density, you have to go to view mode and from there you can switch to current density. All right. So here we are getting two fails. You can find out what is the reason. All right. So as you can see clearly here, 
we have only via for this huge amount of current so that's why it is showing this error all right and we are getting the same error for 1.8 volt and ground all right so you have to verify that from here you can select the vision layer so in our case l9 power is 1.8 volt which is here and to highlight or if you wanted to see the current density on a particular layer you have to just click over view current density here we are getting a couple of red markers which has the highest current density similarly you can verify for ir drop so we are getting huge ir drop compared to this blue section so you can verify all these points so yeah this is how you can do the ir drop analysis for any pcb design for more tutorials visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channel